Good morning, my students. Today we'll continue reading the personal essay written by Krakiel Perg. Reflects on working toward peace. Before we start reading the text, I want you to go to page 313. Okay. Thanks a lot. On page 313, you will find the main skill that we are studying here. So, this is a personal essay written by Craig Kelperg. In the personal essay, you will find all the time the writer is stating his perspective, his opinion, his point of view. So, while reading the personal essay, you have to concentrate on the writer's opinion. And you will find that the writer is describing his personal or her personal experience. And you will find the first point of view used all the text, all over the text. And it will be a mixture of storytelling, personality, facts, and wisdom. So, what is the meaning of the writer's perspective? It will be the unique combination of ideas, values, feelings, and beliefs. Okay? So, you'll find that the writer is stating his opinion, his personal idea, that cannot be proven true. So, also while you are reading, I want you to concentrate on the tone of the writer. His attitude toward the subject. He's what? He's humorous, he's serious, he's miserable, he's optimistic, or what? Okay? Now, I want you to go back to page 303, 307, and start reading the background about the writer. Okay, thanks a lot. So, I want you right now to read the background about the writer. Okay, so, after reading the background really, you will find that the writer has a main goal in his life. While reading here, you will find his main goal was to help young people around the world. Okay, so, he founded a free, he founded an institution or international organization to free children around the world. Did you get it? So this man really has already got recognition and became the youngest recipient of the Order of Canada for helping children or helping people around the world. So right now, I want you to read the first lines of the text Okay. Okay. So right now, I want you to read the lines one to six and decide how do you know the essay is written using the first point of view? What language does the author use that sounds informal and conversational? So right now, go to the first page. Most of the time, you will find that the writer used pronouns like I. Most of the time. So right now, using such pronouns means that he used the first point of view. Okay. 
And also, I want to, to look at this part. He said, one day. So the writer, he wanted to state an important event. He wanted to tell a story, an important story in his life. Okay. Then he made a comparison here. He said, when I was 12 years old and getting ready for the school, I reached for a newspaper. Okay, newspaper comics here. And he read about another kid, really, another children, another child. He was also 12, 12 years old. Okay, pondage where the front page he was like a 12 year old boy from Pakistan. So this boy really was the same, the same age of the writer. And this boy really lived a miserable life in which he was into or in bondage. So, in bondage means in slavery, in servitude. So this boy really was working for 12 hours a day. Okay? And instead of going to the school, instead of getting his freedom, he only was in bondage. So, look here at the answer of the question. The use of the pronouns I, our, and my indicate the first person point of view. For the second part of the question, what language does the author use that sounds informal and conversational? So, go back to the first page again. The writer said what? I dreamed to be a superman. Okay? So, using such language, it looks like formal or informal, Sure, in formal language. Good. Look here. He said, I dream being Superman. Snatch up all of the bad people. I want to spend hours flying across the park. So using such language it refers to that this language is an informal one. A conversational language. Okay. Now, I want you to go back to page, or go to page 308. On page 308, I want you to read the lines 15 to 31, then summarize the issue that galvanized Kiel Perger to start Free the Children. Take your time. Read the lines and get the answer, please. Okay, thanks a lot. So, right now, while reading these lines, you will find that the writer said, over the past four years in my travels for free the children, so, the writer here traveled around the world for only one purpose, to free children around the world. And he had the opportunity to meet a lot of kids around the world, like Jeffrey, okay, who spends his days in Manila garbage dump. And also, he has Manuela in India. So, right now, the perspective, the point of view of the writer ready is only one thing. He intended and he encourages people around the world to help children, to help cats. So, from these experiences, you will get the answer of the second question. So, look here. The writer became deeply concerned about child labor and poverty in such areas, in striking areas. Okay. So, 
Also, the writer mentioned something really important. If you look here, you'll find that he mentioned some statistics, some numbers about how people spend their money around the world. You'll find that every year the world spends 800 billion on the military, 400 billion on cigarettes, 160 billion on beer, and 40 billion playing golf. So all of these amounts of money, and they spend it helping cats, so the world will be better. According to the United Nations, there was a report in 1997. It carried a clear message that poverty can be ended if we make it our goal, if we intend it really to end it. Okay?